What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and increase your Shopify revenue on your store without increasing the amount of traffic your store is getting. And you're gonna be accomplishing this by taking a look at the behavioral patterns of your customers on your store. And we're gonna be doing this by using heat maps. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So in order to get started, we're going to be using an app called Squid Vision. It's called Website Heat Map Software here in the Shopify App Store. And you can get the app by clicking the first link in the description down below. And this app's actually a little bit different than other types of heat maps out there. So a lot of times, most heat maps just track clicks and where the user's mouse is, etc. But this particular app actually tracks the revenue that each click generates. So it's a little bit more of a conversion based heat map software, which is pretty cool. So you can try it out by clicking the first link in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can actually use this app right now. So this is the store that we're going to be testing it out on right here. So if we go ahead and open up the app, a very simple and straightforward app to use. So when we open it up and once we sync it up with our Shopify store here, we're brought here to our dashboard where we can see different metrics like revenue, orders, clicks, and visitors. So one cool thing about this app is it gives you a overview of essentially how each one of your pages is performing. So even without opening up these specific revenue heat maps, we can see here our pages here and then our revenue, our orders, clicks, and visitors right here. So we can see all of our metrics for each individual pages and we can sort it by revenue, which it is right now. We can sort by orders, we can sort by clicks, etc. So you can go ahead and compare directly which pages on your store are performing the best, which is pretty cool. But the power in this app comes from actually viewing the behavior on specific pages. So let's go ahead and start out with this home page right here. Let's see what's actually happening on this home page. So if I go ahead and come down here and click on the home page, we can see that it's actually going to bring up the heat map right here. So we can see all of the metrics for this page, the revenue orders, clicks, and visitors. If we scroll down here, we can actually see the heat map itself. So we can see that if you're familiar with heat maps, you're gonna notice this looks a little bit different. Most of the time the heat maps are gonna look like an infrared type thing and you're gonna see where the users are clicking the most, but instead of just showing where users are clicking the most, this app's actually going to show you which of these clicks led to the most money. So this is really useful for figuring out which call to actions are actually working well on your page right here. So we can see here, we can see all of these different things that are clicked on, and if we hover over them right here, we can see how much revenue, conversions, and clicks came from clicks on this particular logo in this case we can see the metrics here for the shop now button here we can kind of just compare where everyone is clicking and which clicks are leading to the most revenue so one takeaway you could get immediately from looking at this home page above the fold is that the primary call to action right here the shop now button in the middle of the screen has generated a thousand while the actual logo up here has generated 1.3k and you can see a couple of the other links on this menu here have also outperformed the primary call to action button right here. So this could give you an opportunity to come down here and try and split test maybe different colored buttons, maybe make the button a little bit bigger, maybe make it stand out a little bit more because this button is kind of blending in to the background. It's pretty minimal so maybe you'd want to make this button brighter stand out more to try and bring up the performance of this call to action since it is the primary call to action here on this page so if we went ahead and scrolled down a little bit here we could see that we have a featured products collection right here by taking a look at these we can see which of these products are actually performing the best so we can see that these two products right here are performing the best and this product despite being listed first is actually performing about in the middle for the rest of these products here. So what can you actually do with this information? So let's say that we've had this heat map tracking for a couple of weeks, and then we see this information right here. What you could go ahead and do is you could take the top performing products, so in this case, these two, and move them to the front. And then you could go ahead and take these two products down here, which are performing better than this top left and this top right and move them into the top section as well. So you'd essentially be ordering your featured products on your homepage based on 
which ones are making the most money. And doing this is just going to help maximize the efficiency and conversion rate of your store. So we can scroll down and we can see more clicks as well. We can see clicks over here to our blog and then we can see our footer clicks right here. Our footer clicks are not generating that much revenue compared to everything else, which is not very surprising. So another thing you can do when you're taking a look at this is you can actually change some of the metrics here. So first off, we can go ahead and choose which heat map we're looking at. So this is on desktop. So we could go ahead and change our heat map to mobile if we wanted. So we could see the metrics here on mobile as well. Scroll down and we could see the same things for mobile. And mobile is probably going to be more valuable for you because if you're an average e-commerce store, you're probably getting more of your traffic from mobile than you are from desktop. So this is definitely important to make sure that you're not just looking at desktop, that you're also looking at mobile as well. You can also go over here and change the metric from revenue to clicks. So you can also just see which buttons are getting the most clicks in general. So this would essentially just be the standard heat map feature. So most heat maps just show you what's getting clicked the most. So you also can get that same benefit of a standard heat map by seeing where people are clicking the most by just switching right over here to clicks. And if we switch back to revenue, you can also change your revenue attribution here from all clicks just to last click. So essentially what this means is anyone that placed an order, the very last link they clicked before actually converting is the link that's going to be attributed with the actual sale right here. So you can see a lot of these numbers went down when I switched to last click versus all clicks. So last click just gets rid of overlapping links. So if somebody, you know, clicked on shop now and then clicked on t-shirts and then clicked on a specific product, if it's all clicks, all three of those buttons are going to end up are all going to get the credit for that sale. But if you do last click, the last particular link they clicked is going to get that credit. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to use here. And now we're gonna go ahead and just head back to the dashboard once again. And now we'll take a look at a different page. Now we're gonna take a look at an actual product page here. So if I go ahead and open this up, we can go ahead and scroll down and see that now we are on a product page. So we can see which buttons on our actual product page are leading to the most revenue. So unsurprisingly at a glance, the first thing you'll see is that the actual cart button is leading to the most revenue on this page, which isn't surprising because if somebody's clicking on their cart, they're most likely trying to complete their checkout. We can also scroll down here and we can take a look at how these different images are performing. So we can see that these images are actually performing better than this one. So maybe we'd put this image as the main one. So that's something you could go ahead and test out. You can scroll down and see these other clicks and then unsurprisingly the footer is not really generating that that much revenue so it's pretty much the same thing for your product page you can go ahead and see which buttons are generating revenue here and if you see something that's not doing well you can change and adjust accordingly and just like before we can go ahead and switch between clicks and we can go ahead and switch the attribution as well so now I'm going to head back to the dashboard once again and take a look at a different page. Now I'm going to open up a blog post and this is also another cool thing that you can do with the app is you can actually see how well your blog posts are performing. So if you're a store owner that uses content marketing for your brand, which a lot of business owners do nowadays, you can see which links in your blog post are actually generating revenue here. So we, can, so we can see that this particular link here generated $60 from one conversion. And we can scroll down. We can see that this link generated $51 from two conversions. We can see that this link hasn't generated any money. This, we can see that down here has generated 92 with this link. And this link 119. So it's definitely really useful for determining how your blog posts are performing because this is something that's a little bit more difficult to track. Normally when you're doing your content marketing and you're creating all of this content for your site, it's going to be a bit more difficult to actually figure out, you know, whether 
these articles, posts, they're actually worth it, whether or not they're actually generating results. So overall, when you're looking at the links performance inside of a blog post, you can actually go in here, see how they're performing, and then you can go in here and tweak the different text in the links. So in SEO, that's known as the anchor text. So you can change your anchor text to see if that actually increases the amount of revenue or click-through rate that, that specific link is generated. So if you did want to change the text to set up a split test, what you would go ahead and do is first off, you would go ahead and actually edit this page on your Shopify store. And then after you do that, you could come back in here into the app and come up here and you would click on update snapshot. So you can see right now that the date range for this specific snapshot has been going on since October 7th. So it's been going on for about five months now. So if you wanted to perform another split test for the same time period, you would just click on update snapshot here and it would go ahead and create a new one right here that we can see just started on February 8th, which is today. And we could let this run for the same amount of time and then compare the actual results here, revenue, conversions, clicks, etc. And then we could scroll back down here and compare the actual results of these specific links that we changed as well. So heading back to the dashboard once again, that's pretty much the walkthrough of how you can actually use the Squid Vision heat map app to go ahead and increase sales on your store just by optimizing your store based on how customers are interacting with it. And then obviously on the dashboard, we have the overview. You can see which pages are actually performing better than others. And if you want to add new pages here to be tracked, you can just click on add a new page, enter the page name, and then just enter the page URL and then create new. So everything in this app is very simple and easy to use as we just saw. So that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to check out the Squid Vision app using the first link in the description down below. And with that said, thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one.